If you had a choice, if God himself asked you, who would you prefer your mother to be? Brianna Barksdale or Sissy St. Patrick? Hey, it's your man, Parlo, from the Parlo Gym Show. And on today's episode, we're going to look at two of these characters from two of my favorite crime drama television shows, The Wire and Snowfall. I hope you hang around with me. Let's have a good time in today's episode. While you're here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell and check out one of my latest videos where I talked about Power Book 2 Ghost, the upcoming episode 9, Blood Ties. Uh, I give some theories and predictions about this episode. You may you might want to check that out. Uh, we had some comments <laughs> about this particular episode that I did and here you have Tay saying, when did Tyreek tell Noma about Davis? I think you made that up. Hey, look, bro, players mess up too. I meant to say in the video that Davis knew about Noma. So to know what I'm talking about, you got to go watch the video. That's a great comment there. Appreciate you keeping me on my toes. Also, Demarcus, shout out to D, who is a frequent commenter on the channel he said i believe that davis monet and tyreek will sacrifice effie to set up sax and the dea because tyreek knows that sax is the mole so we'll see uh i told demarcus sax is dead we all know that so maybe he just means the feds in general but for the most part uh that was a great comment and I enjoyed going back and forth with D. So let's get into today's episode, the reason why you're here. There are some characters that when they play a role, you know that that role was made for them. I mean, when I think about Malcolm X, I don't want to see anybody else play that role because Denzel Washington just nailed it. Now, I must say that television show that comes on, um, uh, what is the name of that show with Forrest Whitaker? Maybe maybe somebody down, it's uh, something about Harlem. I can't remember his, his show. Let me see if I can look this up. Uh, but there's a guy on that show who plays uh, Malcolm X. He does a great job. Godfather of Harlem. That's it. He does a great job, but. Nobody hits that role like Denzel Washington. Who else could play Martin <laughs> on the television show besides Martin? I mean, nobody. So Miss Michael Hyatt, for those of you who don't know, she plays the role of Sissy and Brianna in Snowfall and The Wire, and she just kills it. I mean, come on. She played in so many other television shows and movies. Nightcrawler, if you guys haven't seen that, I recommend that. Uh, Ray Donovan was a great series, at least the first three seasons. The last two was whack. New Jersey Drive is a hood classic, but Miss Michael Hyatt kills it in The Wire and Snowfall. Unfortunately, she seems to be good at playing the mother that has a son that sells drugs, <laughs> but she does such a great job. Let's, let's talk about Brianna. Okay. Brianna Barksdale, the sister to Avon, who has the West side of Baltimore locked up in the drug trade. And she plays a mother that is ambitious, but she comes off to me if you really watch the story, she her character comes off as a young mother who is OK with her big brother selling drugs. And she sees that as an opportunity for her to eat, her family to eat. And she's OK with the destruction of the community as long as they are successful and financially taken care of. I mean, think about it. When she went to D'Angelo and she 
tried to talk him into taking the years in prison for getting caught with that weight. She put right before them, look, if you turn your back on your uncle, how are you going to eat? How is your baby mama going to eat? How is your son going to eat? So to me, her character was almost just like a young girl from the hood that saw a way to make some money. Uh, she was a thinker, very persuasive and quite loyal. Now, her character grew to me when she realized that someone in Avon's organization set her son up to be killed. And then she got to the point to where she said, you know what? This is not good. I've been doing this for so long and it's not what I want to do anymore. It's caused nothing but death and despair to my family. And she backs away. So to me, it's like her character began to grow and uh, she changed. But by then it was too late. She lost her brother. She lost her son and she lost uh, her source of income. So I just saw her character almost and I'm not trying to insult anyone, but just like a little hood girl, this just trying to make a little money. And uh, she had a child while she was young and he went into the family business and ended up getting killed. And that's pretty much her character. But she played it so well because she loved her brother. She loved her son, but she was loyal to the game. Now, her character as Sissy, in my opinion, had some similar traits. She was OK with her son selling drugs, but her mindset was let's take the profits or some of this money and try to help the community that we are in fact destroying. Let's try to help the homeless. Let's try to feed the hungry. Let's try to provide shelter and let's try to kind of right some of the wrongs that, that we're doing. So I saw Sissy as being a bit more mature instead of her forcing her son to do drugs like she did in the character as Brianna. She let her son choose, but you saw her love in telling Franklin, look, you've got to know when enough is enough and when to step away. And her character hit an arc or a peak that I never thought I'd see. <laughs> she went straight gangster. She didn't do that as Brianna when she suspected someone killing her son she just steps away but in snowfall man sissy took that gun and bust a cap <laughs> in teddy when she discovered that he killed her husband now that didn't have anything to do with well i guess inadvertently she was you know a wife and he was the one that bore her a son so inadvertently, that has to do with her motherhood. But to me, Sissy had that hood in her. <laughs> and this is one of the funniest memes I've seen on the Internet, CPOC, <laughs> where Sissy just went straight all eyes on me. She just I mean, she she blew Teddy away and was OK with going to prison. And she stood on what she did. So when I consider these two characters, both of them ambitious, both of them loving their family. Uh, but one seemingly had more of a moral compass than the other. If it were up to me and I had a choice and God himself asked me, who would I want to be my mother? And I had to choose between Brianna and Sissy for me. It would have to be Sissy. Uh, yeah, it, it would have to be sissy maybe brianna could have turned into sissy if she had some years on her a little bit more maturity but in my mind just based upon the character development and what we saw over the series and over the years of these two characters i'm going with sissy i think she portrayed both of both of them well I enjoy watching her play these characters. She is definitely believable to me. When she sat down with McNulty 
And he told her that, look, you're the reason that your son died because you didn't want to get him out the game. What kind of mother are you? <laughs> but then they flipped the script in, in, the, in Snowfall and her son didn't want to listen to her and she let him go. And eventually we see that Franklin ended up homeless on the street and just really messed up. Let me know in the comments, which one would you prefer as your mother, Brianna or Sissy? I want to know. I need to know. I got to know. It's your man, Parlo, from the Parlo Gym Show. And before you get out of here, make sure you check out season one, episode 17 of the Parlo Gym Show. It's a podcast I do here on the channel where I talk about a number of current events and I Talk about John Morant clamping back in an apology for his foolishness that he has been involved in lately. Make sure you check that out. If you enjoy my content, I would really appreciate you subscribing and smashing that like button as it will help the community and recommend my video to others so we can have great discussions in the comments section. I hope you join me on my next video. It's your man, Parlo. Hey, you guys stay safe, and I'll catch you on my next video. Peace.